Okay, so this is our group project, Russo Finance. I'm Brian Russo. I'm Jordan Deitch. I'm Jake Rossler. And I'm Kevin Montefusco. And we're going to go ahead and delve into this. All right, so um, some background about the clients. Um, Raj, 34, and Nikita, 31 years old. They're hotels. They're a married couple living in Harrison. Harrisonburg, Virginia. Uh, Raj is a manufacturer. He originally worked 50 to 60 hours, but now he's working 40 hours, cut back from uh, work, and he doesn't have any college experience, whereas Nikita is a receptionist for an accounting firm and has community college experience. Uh, Pyra, their seven-year-old, is in second grade. Their son, Aziz, is age five, and he's in kindergarten. Uh, they live in a good neighborhood in a rented three-level house town. So to start our negatives, um, the cons of their situation is um, their education is very limited. Um, so generally, as you have more education, uh, you have better opportunities within the workforce, which they both have very average opportunities right now to support the family. Uh, Nikita doesn't work much, and Raj's hours can cut. Um, so leaves them with options to either get second jobs or maybe potentially go back to school. Uh, Nikita does not have a retirement account. That's a major negative. Um, especially because they want to retire at age 65 and uh, 67, respectively, um, and that would be extremely tough on Raj's extremely low income retirement account right now. So more on the negatives. Um, they live in a wealthy neighborhood, which is good for their kids growing up, but it's also bad for their financial situation. Um, even the Patels found a way, even if they did find a way to budget and live comfortably in the neighborhood, there's no need for Raj to go ahead and get custom golf clubs from impressive neighbors, and also Nikita buys um, an expensive violin for their daughter when they can have another option. Uh, Raj also should be focused on paying back his payday loan because um, this is one of the worst loans to take out. Um, it's good in the short run, but then you also have higher interest rates, and uh, they should just try to stay away from these at all costs in the future. So to finish up the negatives, uh, the Patels also do not have um, a great, they don't do a great job of reducing spending as they still eat out um, often just because both parents don't like to cook, which is basically not acceptable on their payroll. Um, on top of all these, um, they also do not have long-term disability insurance, no social security funds, and no estate documents of any kind. So Brian listed out a long uh, laundry list of negatives, but there are definitely some positives to their situation. First and foremost being that every member of their family is covered by health insurance. God forbid anything were to happen, um, they can rest assured that they will be covered medically, so that is a load of their mind. Raj has actually has a 401k plan through his company, and the company matches his investments up to 5% of his salary, and altogether this comes out to $1,320 a year. The Patels also decided to refinance, refinance a $2,000 purchase of their new couch. They have about 24 months to pay it off, otherwise the interest rates spike up to 22%, so they should make sure that that is one of their priorities. And finally, they have renter's insurance to cover their house if anything gets stolen, any robberies, uh, anything like that. The goods will be covered and they will get a monetary value back for all right, so some solution and suggestion. Um, our first solution would be, or suggestion would be not to have any more children. Um, having children requires a lot of um, disposable income that the Patels don't have. Um, also, they should have rented a violin for Priya instead of buying a brand new violin. This would have saved some costs um, in the long run. Um, also, stop falling into social pressures in the community. Um, the Patels live in a well-off community, so they need to stop trying to keep up with the other members of the community. Um, for example, joining the golf and swim club. Um, to go along with the golf, Raj didn't need to buy a brand new set of custom golf clubs. He could have rented when he goes or borrowed from someone in the neighborhood. Um, they could have also downsized their living situation or sublet their basement apartment, this would save money. Um, they could either help pay their own rent by subletting or just getting a smaller place to live. Also, Nikita needs to discuss becoming a registered tax return preparer with her firm. Um, this will give them more income down the road. 
and Raj could possibly get a second job because of his reduced hours. Uh, just some more suggestions. They could reduce dining expenses and help save money by shopping at a grocery store, pay off their payday loan, accumulating interest fast at a rate of 75%, reuse money from selling the car to help pay off the loan, um, address large monthly car loan payments. We chose to sell the more expensive car to help reduce the total car loan payments as well as decreasing auto insurance premium, and also invest in long-term disability insurance they only have short-term plan while the whole family is very dependent on Raj and the key to current income. So uh, <clears throat> this is a snapshot of the uh, balance sheet, the original balance sheet that we were given of Raj and Akita, and the one that we've adjusted to uh, help out the financial situation. Uh, the changes are highlighted in yellow, so we decided to sell Raj's uh, 2014 BMW. We felt like this is a little bit of too expensive car for them to be driving right now, especially with their current financial problems. We used the, uh, we found a, a resale value of about $18,000, which we used to pay off his auto loan. That was an uh, existing auto loan, which was $14,500, as well as paid off his payday loan to get rid of that uh, high interest accumulating. So now this is a snapshot of their budget. This is the original budget that we were given, and along with our new budget to help them, to help them out a little bit. With the original budget, after calculating the auto loan payments, we determined that they were actually at a shortfall of uh, a little, close to uh, $1,500 a month. So to help them out, we made a couple uh, changes over here in yellow. Uh, first, we started with looking up a, a salary for the tax preparer. So we increased Nikita's salary after uh, calculating that. We took the rent payments and decided that it might be possible for them to sublet. So we took the original rent payment of $1,100 a month and decided that if they're uh, renting out an entire floor of their house, we divided that by three for the three floors in the house. So now they only pay $733 a month. Uh, so Roger's auto loan payment becomes zero because he no longer uh, owns the car. We use the, the car to finance his auto, auto loan payment. And that would also reduce the auto insurance premiums because they no longer need to uh, insure the BMW. And as Jordan said before, we took out the golf and the swim club dues because we felt like this is kind of an unnecessary expense for them as well as uh, limiting the dining out expenses per, per month to help uh, to save a little bit more money there. The, the next step was looking at their uh, entire retirement and education plans. So they said that they wanted to fill 75% uh, of their current income, which came out to about $51,000 a year. So with Roger's current uh, 401k uh, contributions, we kept that the same. He was doing a decent job with that, especially with the employee matching. So we did have to up was his uh, IRA contributions to help them uh, retire at the age of 70, which we felt like would be a realistic goal for them. And saying that Nikita was currently contributing nothing to her IRA. So again, if she, needs, if she also wants to retire and help out, then she's going to have to start uh, contributing $349 a month in the hopes to save up uh, some of that money when they retire. And the last part of the education plans for both Priya and uh, Aziz. Uh, we determined that a realistic goal for them would be save about $40,000 for each kid by the time they turn 18 and ready to go to college. In the 529 savings plan in the state of Virginia, you can get about 2% interest rate. So with that, they have to save about, for Priya, since she's a little bit older, they're going to have to be a little more aggressive. So about $304 a month, while Aziz only needs about $227 a month for the next uh, years until they turn 18 and ready to go to college. And that, at the end, brought them back into, uh, into the positives with uh, how much money they spend each month after taking into account their living expenses. All right, so Jake stole a little bit of my thunder there, but as we said, Priya and Aziz are both going off to school. Uh, within 10 to 12 years, Priya being seven and Aziz being five, so the Patels have to start saving money for college. Uh, given that they don't have a ton of disposable income at this time, we thought it was realistic to send them off to a state school as opposed to a, uh, a very expensive private university throughout the country. So altogether, Raj and Nikita need to save $466 a month, and that will bring them so that each child has about $40,000 to go to school with. And as Jake said before, we found this number because the average uh, 529 plan in Virginia has 2% interest, and just using time value of money, we were able to compute this.
and lastly, uh, the retirement funds for both of them. So both Raj and Nikita have IRA accounts, and Raj actually has a 401k plan through his employer. Uh, in the original case study, the uh, I think it said that when they retired, they wanted to save about 75% of their uh, current income, which would put them at about $51,000. So in order to get to this number, Raj would need to contribute 18, around 18000 in his IRA and uh, 73 or 7300 uh, through his 401k. And uh, seeing as Nikita only has an IRA account, she would have to put away just about $35,000 a year. And lastly, after all the changes we made and everything taken care of, the family will have about $471 left over to, to spend on whatever they see.